Good morning. It is with deep sadness and a heavy heart that I stand before you today. March 1st, 2023 is a day that will never be forgotten, especially in our Buffalo Fire Department family. That's the day we lost our brother, firefighter Jason Arnault. Jay loved being a firefighter, and in his career, he had already built a great reputation. Jay was always smiling. Whenever anyone talked about him, they'd say the same thing. Jay was a great guy. Jay always carried himself in a professional manner and emanated a quiet confidence. He was eager to be a good firefighter and jump in and be part of the team. Everywhere he worked, Jay was a valued crew member. Jay loved to cook and he was awesome at it, which works out well because firefighters love to eat. There is truly something special about a sharing a well-cooked meal with your crew at the firehouse. Jay did the little things at the firehouse, which endeared him to his crewmates. He was almost too nice to be a firefighter. Most firefighters I know are more like something I can't say in church. <laughs> when he arrived at the firehouse just before 10 a.m. with his arms full of groceries, the initial call for ringing alarms came in. Jay ran into the kitchen to drop the groceries so he could relieve the firefighter who was waiting for him. There was no way he was going to let his crew go out the door without him. Jay's commitment to serve the people of our community, his commitment to being the best firefighter he could be, and most of all, his commitment to his fellow firefighters compelled him to respond with his crew. That commitment led to firefighter Jason Arnault making the ultimate sacrifice. Sacrifice, commitment to duty, and confidence are the attributes of a true hero and a firefighter, Jason Arnault. Since the tragic line of duty death of our brothers, Lieutenant Chip McCarthy and firefighter Jonathan Kroom in 2009, there have been 13 rookie classes that have come on the Buffalo Fire Department. This means, thankfully, that the vast majority of our members have not had to deal with a tragedy of this magnitude. But these tragedies, sadly, are part of our vocation and they are part of our lives as firefighters. We all know the risks involved, yet we are forever shocked when those risks become a reality. Firefighters operate on the premise that it's never going to happen to me, and it's imperative that we do. We must carry on and continue to serve. To my brothers and sisters of Local 282, it is an honor to serve you. And I thank you for all you did today for our brother, Firefighter Jason Arnault. To Mayor Brown and his administration, thank you for your support. To Fire Commissioner William Ronaldo and his entire staff, thank you for supporting the membership during this difficult time. Thank you to IFF First District Vice President James Levin and the IAFF. The IAFF is a valued organization to Local 282 and all its affiliates. Thank you to the New York State Professional Firefighters Association President Sam Frasina and, and the New York State Professional Firefighters Association for all they do for Buffalo and their members across New York State. Thank you to all our brothers and sister firefighters from across the country and around the world, especially those who are in attendance today. Local 2D2 is deeply appreciative of the outpouring of support we've received. Thank you as well to our brothers and sisters in blue, specifically the Buffalo PBA, who are consistently there for Local 2D2 whenever they are needed. Thank you to everyone who had in any way contributed to assisting the Arno family and to all the people behind the scenes who made today a successful operation in the worst of times. Thank you to my Local 282 Executive Board. I am truly blessed to serve with all of you. And a special thank you to the Western New York community. There is no question that our amazing community always steps up when there is any type of need. Words cannot express the gratitude 
that Local 282 family has for the incredible support we and the rest of the Arno family have received. We are honored to serve you. To the Arno family, from your Buffalo De Fire Department family, please accept our deepest sympathy for your loss. Nothing can be said to relieve the pain of losing Jay, but I hope this tribute to him helps lessen your grief. Know that we share that grief and we hope to share your burden. I invite each and every one of you here today to keep Jay alive in your hearts. His life and his sacrifice are an example that will live far beyond his days on this earth. Thank you. Now I'd like